a little bit of a different video today but I thought I'd show you um, the new laptop I bought for university. Um, I had one for the end of GCSEs slash college um, and that one was good for a while but um, it wasn't very high spec so it's starting to, I'm starting to outgrow it now. Um, so I've splashed out £600, um, which isn't too bad but isn't too cheap at the same time but it's going to be a worthwhile investment and I have bought this which is the Acer Aspire 5 it has a Ryzen 7 processor and um, all that good stuff it's quad core um, 8 gigabytes of RAM 256 gigabytes of um, solid state drive and hopefully this is going to last me the majority or all of university touch wood. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, so I've already partially opened the box for ease. Um, obviously it's a nice cardboard box, it's nice and recyclable and it's sturdy. And you open it up and you have this, so your laptop's nice and padded. Um, it's got a nice case, uh, fabric case around it so that you don't, obviously it doesn't try, tries to not get it damaged but on the way over, so the laptop's there. There's some paperwork underneath and the power cables are over here on the right. So if I just take this out, so you can take off these pieces. And then you end up with the laptop here. Take that out of the bag for you. And you have this. And it's got an aluminium cover. Um, and it's really nice. The only thing is it is slightly prone to um, fingerprints because obviously it's nice and shiny. But it does feel very sturdy and very good. Very sturdy and very good there. Um, if you open it up, you can almost open it up with one hand. Um, there's the bottom. So there's the keyboard. It's got a normal quality keyboard with a number pad just there. There's that, and then there's the screen. It's got a um, webcam just up there. There's some of these specs if you want to see them. So it has a thin design, aluminium top cover, narrow bezel, ultra fast wireless speed. Um, the viewing angle is very large. I can put this flat, and it's got an HDMI port. So if I just show you the flat, that laptop is now flat. That's good. On this side, I just have one USB port, and I don't actually know what that is for. It's on my old laptop as well. Not a clue. Then if I flip it round, so you have power cable. To the right of that is an Ethernet port, then there's an HDMI port, and then there's two USB and a headphone jack. And as you can see just from here, it has a uh, Ryzen 7 graphics card, uh, not graphics card, processor, which is um, very similar in specs to the i7, which is what I wanted to go for. Um, it can obviously do full HD, and it's a very nice laptop. Obviously at the bottom here you've got the paperwork that it comes with, so the user manual, things like that. That good boy stuff. And then over here you have, you have the power pack for your charger and then obviously the plug for the charger as well and then bonus to that should you need to install a hard disk drive they have some screws for that and for accessories with this laptop I've bought this laptop sleeve which is waterproof and I believe it's made of neoprene I don't know if that's how you say it um, but it's just quite simple so if I just do that opens up and I can slide my laptop into there um, and I can use that inside of my rucksack and things like that and that will just be really handy um, to obviously make sure that it stays safe. I also got this HP one. Um, this is the HP Signature Slim Top Load Case in 15.6 inches because that's the size of my laptop. So it has a zipped pocket on this side, it has just a normal sort of slip yeah slip one there, it has the main bit where your laptop goes, then there is also another pocket here, 
which has holders for pens or obviously nowadays you get the screen pen so you could either easily slip like an iPad or something in here and it has this other pocket as well I just really like this um, so on the other side you also have a velcro section too which is accessible at the bottom I don't know if you can see there's a zip at the bottom so you can access it there as well uh, this is the other side it's just quite simple and it obviously as you can see comes with a strap so I can take this to uni with me and take it across campus if all I need is my laptop so yeah that's my laptop um, I just used it I just set it up and it's really good a lot faster than my old one to load up and things like that the uh, only things I'll say would be that it didn't come charged so I have had to plug it in in order to turn it on and things like that. I'd sort of expect there to be a little bit of charge when I buy something. But yeah, it's not the end of the world. Um, and the setting up took a little bit of time because it's like a lot of... Obviously with the GDPR and stuff that's come in, it's a lot of making sure that I am sending the data that I want to send. Which is just a lot of, okay, I'm not okay with that, I am okay with that, blah blah. So that took a little bit of a while to set up. But apart from that... It's a really nice laptop and I'm really looking forward to using it at uni. I'm sure if you continue watching my vlogs um, by subscribing things, um, you can see me use it when I write massive essays that I'm sure will happen um, in the coming weeks. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you want to see and don't forget to hit the bell. Okay, see you later.